Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and I'm on a mission to teach you the secrets of the audio production trade. In this video, you'll learn all about the fantastic Korg IMS20 app for iPad and its fantastic uses for music producers and creating your own sound effects for radio jingles, DJ drops and podcasts too. Now, I'm looking to produce more videos that review music apps that would be of interest to you as a podcaster, a producer, a radio DJ, a host, Host, anybody who's interested in music. So if you think it's a good idea and you'd like to leave your feedback, please feel free to do so when you finish watching this video in the comments below. The Korg IMS20 analog synthesizer is now on iPad. Fantastic, isn't it? Let's take a look at the session browser at the top left and you can see some preset sessions there. You can also download more if you wish and also export the audio or share it to SoundCloud and see some of the popular stuff other people are creating with Korg products. I'm going to load up the minimal template, get a beat going now. That sounds pretty good and show you through the keyboard first of all. So let's go up in notes. I can alter these notes by twisting a few dials. You can have literally hours of endless fun creating your very own sound effect. Now, this button here will start or stop the playback of the loop. See? Stop it and start it again. Go into drums and I'll alter the drums. Maybe I'll give it a few more deep kicks. Yeah, that immediately alters the sound, the reverb snare as well. Pop that in and change that up, or I can just hit a drum at the bottom like this, which is really cool. Song pattern, and I can change the pattern of a song. Maybe from this one to pattern eight, it flashes and then activates. Wonderful. And back to pattern one. In the mixer view, I'll be able to see all my separate elements, change them, alter them, even solo them. There you go, there's one of the hi-hats. Go back in, solo another one. Now I'm going to stop the playback and show you some more fantastic features. Heading back into synth, I can change my sound preset and maybe go for something different like a sound effect of an explosion. Let's have a listen and create a radio sweeper. This is the best music on your number one radio station. And I can change the sound of that explosion. And this is pretty much the kind of equipment that professional producers use to create radio sound effects. Let's browse through and find something else, maybe some strings and bring up the keyboard and listen to them. But the fun doesn't stop there. Start up the beat again and fire up the chaos pad, which is a popular feature of many Korg products. And I can have some fun by moving my fingers across the pads. And you can see with very little musical knowledge, you can be creating music tracks and sound effects in moments. That's a brief look at the Korg IMS20 app for iPad, which I think is fantastic if you want to create your own music beds or sound effects for jingles. The possibilities really are endless and you can spend hours on this beautiful app. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please leave a comment below the video and let me know what you thought of this one. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.